Having plain white canvas pages could be boring sometimes. This episode is a continuation of how to have fun in your canvas pages. In the previous episode, I have showed you how to add borders to your canvas page. In today's session, I will be showing you how to add page background colors, how to change the colors of your paragraphs and your text, and how to make them much more fun and engaging in your classes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I am in my canvas page. I went ahead and copied some random text so we have some kind of text for reference. Again, I highly recommend watching my previous video on how to create borders so we have a little bit of understanding on how to use HTML. Today's goal is to create a different background colors or maybe multiple background colors for a canvas page and even change the background colors for our text and paragraphs. To do that, you have to toggle between your rich text editor and HTML editor, which is all the way in the bottom here. So when you see that less than greater than sign, that's where you click and you will be in your HTML editor because you know it says pretty HTML. Again, when I toggle back, I'm going to be in a rich text editor. Because Canvas does not give us the option of changing the background color, we have to do it manually using our HTML. Again, I highly recommend watching the videos which I will be placing here or here, I'm not sure, but definitely in the description box. I will leave the code in the description box as well so you can simply copy and paste it, but I cannot have the less than greater than sign. You have to make sure you have that in your Canvas page. So now this is my Canvas page again, the quick suggestion is to completely complete your canvas page and your last step before you publish should be changing your colors. So I've completely went ahead and filled up my page with whatever information I want. And now my last step before I submit should be changing the color. So once you have this, you will scroll all the way to the top and you will simply copy the code that I will be giving you in the description box without the less than greater than sign. So these signs will not be available to you in your YouTube description. Make sure you have them. So simply go ahead and copy it. But before you do that, I always like to explain so you can see what this means. You're creating a division in your page and you're telling HTML, hey HTML, I want to style my page with a background and this is my color code. Again, if you're trying to look for different color codes, I highly recommend using coolers.co. So let me go ahead and open this page from the beginning. This is what you will see. You can go ahead and start the generator and create your own panels. And every time you click a space bar, a new color pops up or you can explore from the trending palettes, which is right here. So these are all the trending palettes. And let's just say you like a palette. Please, please, please do not use these bright colors because uh, please keep in mind students with accessibilities, these colors might not be the ones that they look to you to our students. I like to pick the neutral colors and uh, I'm going to pick this palette. And when you like something that you see, click on these three ellipses and open them in the generator. And when you open them in the generator, the cool part is it will actually tell you how this would look for color blindness. So when I click on this, as you can see, there's not a lot of difference. And this is how it looks for different. Um, I don't know. I can't read these names. So this is how it looks. So please always check with that. So you know exactly how this look, how this would look for all your students. So I pick this palette and I pick this color and this is what my background color is. So once I do that, remember when you open the division, you have to make sure you close the division. And it's as simple as that. This code will be given to you and this also will be given to you. You have to put both of them and your entire text goes in between. So you're changing the background of everything. Now that it's done, let's go ahead and take a look. There you go. So the entire background of my text has been changed. Now let me go back here. And let's just say you want to change it to blue. I'm simply going to type in blue. And there you go. Ew, I don't like that. Now let me go back to my coolers and let me pick. And when you click on this, once this opens in this palette, when you click on this square box, it actually gives you all these different shades. How cool is that? So I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to copy this link. Go back to my HTML editor and I'm going to paste the link. 
And when you're pasting the hexa code for the colors, do not forget to put a hashtag in front because HTML would not know it's a color unless you put the hashtag. And now let's go ahead and take a look. There you go, a different color. So all you have to do is go to your color palettes here, pick the color that you like. If you want to change it to this color, simply click on that, go back, and this is where you change the colors. And you have it. How cool is that? Now let me show you something else. Now let's go back here and I want to change it to a light color because that is too bright for me. I'm going to change it to this color. You can also add a border and all you have to do is again, please watch the previous video so you know exactly what I'm typing in. Border. So I'm telling HTML, hey, I want a border. Colon. Again, the first thing is the size of your border. I want it two pixels. The next one is the style. I want a solid border and then the color, I'm going to say black. Close it with the colon and you're good to go. There you go. Now I have my page. Let me minimize it. You can see. Now I have a page with the border. And as you can see, my text is very close to my border. I want a little bit of space. And to do that, if you watched the previous video, you know it is padding. I'm going to create a padding. So P-A-D-D-I-N-G colon and I want a padding of two pixels. You know what? Let's make it four pixels. And don't forget to put your colon because even if you miss one coding, the colon or the quotes, your, your code's not going to work. So make sure you check that. There you go. Now I have a little bit of space. You can create more by changing it to 10 pixels if you want to see what just happened. There you go. Now I have more space. As you know, I just don't like to keep it to one color. I want to make sure I play with it and have various colors. Now, what if you want to have two colors? So let me go ahead and copy the same code. So I'm going to copy this whole thing and paste it right here. And again, because I have one division, every time you have a division, you have to close that division. So you're actually learning HTML in this session as well. Now, so the first color is light green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and let me go to the palettes to see if I can find different colors. I'm going to copy this color and I'm going to change the color code to, I do not want to have a border here. And now let's go ahead and see how it looks. As you can see, I have two colors. You know what? Let me go ahead and put a padding of 20. So you can see, actually, let me put 30. There you go. Now I have two colors in my canvas page and I can also create a border if needed. I'm simply going to copy this border code and paste it right here. And instead of solid, I'm going to say dotted. So you're just telling HTML how you want to have your page border or your text border. So here I have a different color in the background and another color and then text on it. You can create as many colors as you want. So let me quickly do one more and be right back. Did you enjoy the video so far? If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I will be making many more fun with canvas videos just for you. So as you can see, now I have another color. All I did was simply copy this code and paste it again. And keep in mind, every time you open the division, you have to make sure you close that division too. And all I did was change the background color, maybe from dotted, you can change your border to solid and just play with the padding so you have different colors visible. So which is right here. So one is padding 30, 30, padding 20 and padding 10. And this is how you have, you can create multiple colors and multiple borders based on how you want your canvas page to look. So let me change the dotted border to dashed border or double so you can see. There you go. Now I have a double border. Now, once this is done, what if you want to go ahead and change the color of each of this paragraph or each of this text? You can do that as well. So let me go back to my HTML. And as you can see, each one of this is a paragraph. So you will go inside the paragraph and then style it. Again, you will go inside the paragraph and then style it. To do that, let me zoom in further so you can see. I'm going to go inside my paragraph and I will say style. You have to tell the paragraph you're styling it. Equal to, again, simply copy this code 
or any code that you want from the back. Again, you're simply telling it, hey, paragraph, I'm styling you. And then make sure you put your colon and you're done. So let me go back here and there you go. That paragraph has a padding of 30. It has changed the color and also has a border. Now you don't want a padding of 30. You just want a padding of three. There you go, padding of three. You don't want the solid border. You want the red color or solid and red. You can change it to red and there you have a red border. So it's very simple. All you have to do if you want to change the colors of the paragraphs, you have to go inside the paragraph. So let me show you quickly again. You will copy from the style all the way to the padding, including the colon. Control C. Go into the paragraph, the starting part with less than, greater than. Give yourself a space and copy it. Go ahead and change the color. Uh, what if I change the color to light? blue let's see if html recognizes that oh there you go it did and then i'm going to change the solid line to dashed and black color you can even customize the colors of your borders as long as you know the hexa code there you go dashed border so all you have to do is go into your paragraph the starting part and paste the code and change the color. I'm going to change it to yellow just so that you can see. There you go. Oh, that's too bright. And again, with the borders, you can play with the borders. As you know, you can have a border to the left, border to the right, top or bottom. So let's just say for the yellow, I want border only to the left. So I'm going to scroll here and I am go I'm going to go to my I will or I am I will look into my yellow paragraph. I can't speak today and I'm going to say border just to left and now let's go ahead and see minimize this so as you can see I only have border to the left so you can specify each and everything so this is the code that I will be leaving in the description box below and this is what you will paste inside your paragraph and your division to change the background colors of your page and your paragraph. Again, quickly explaining style is you telling HTML that you're styling your page or your paragraph. Background is you telling HTML you're changing the color and keep in mind you can type the name of the color if you know or you can copy the hex code from the coolers.co website but make sure you put a hashtag very important and if you want to have a border to your page or to your paragraph you can do that as well by telling html that it's a border the first one again is the size of your border the second is your style what style do you want solid dotted dashed group i leave all of that in the description box below the last is the color again if you know the color the name of the color well and good or you can always copy the hexa code and if you think your text is very close to the border, you want to give it a little bit of padding, you can do that by simply adding padding in your HTML code. Adding padding, it rhymes. And that is how you create this colorful page inside your canvas using the HTML code. You can change the color of your background, your paragraph, your text, your borders to left, right, bottom, top, and much more. Stay tuned for the next video where I'll be showing you how to create your page backgrounds or paragraph backgrounds with these gradient colors, linear gradient or the circular gradient with different angles, different colors and much more. I hope you enjoy this session. I hope you learn how to create fun, colorful pages for your students in Canvas. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know there are educators who are looking for ways to make their classes fun and engaging. I will leave a link in the description box below for all the Canvas videos. Please make sure you check them out. And do not forget to comment in the comment section below. How many colors do you think you'll be using in your Canvas pages? Did you like what you just saw? Was it too overwhelming? Just so that I can prepare myself better for the next video. Like always, happy teaching. Please take care of yourself. And I will see you again in the next Fun with Canvas video.